What's up guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, I think it's December 17th. It could be the 18th, it could be the 16th, but it's definitely Tuesday. <clears throat> so, whew, man, it took me a little bit to get this to get this thing going again. All right, if you're new to the channel, my name is Mike. I'm an indoor hydroponic grower. I grow these beautiful, Primarily lettuce, honestly. You know, I've tried a number of other things, but I primarily focus on lettuce because it does not require any type of pollination. And um, this is what I do. I'm an indoor hydroponic grower. I love growing clean veg. Uh, beautiful, just, just nice hydroponic stuff just like this. Let me just make it a little brighter right now. And the reason why I do this is definitely the health factors of being able to... Well, health... Um, you know, uh, health, uh, the ability just to sustain your own grow, um, being able to grab food from inside your house, not having to go to the supermarket, from lettuce that's being delivered from God knows where, literally across the country or another country that's being imported in. This is why I do it. And in addition, it is a hobby of mine because I just find it so cool when I'm able to construct a reservoir like this like literally I built these if, if you're new to the channel um, I built these reservoirs I germinate the seed by hand and I implant each individual seed right there into the rock wool okay look how beautiful that is and it, I mean some of them are bigger already look how cool that is I mean a lot of this is butter lettuce and I have realized a lot of the seed that I have not ordered seed in a long time I over ordered seed not long ago and I've been kind of picking at my seeds for quite a while but now I realize that some of the seed that I have is good some of the seed that I have is bad uh, as soon as the year turns I'm gonna buy a bunch of new seed and hopefully get a nice new variety of, um, of lettuce and as soon as so probably in the next just few days at the growth that this is this is going on I'm gonna do another uh, three reservoirs down below. Here's where I keep everything right here. They're there on the side. I keep everything kind of separated. I've been going through a small transition here. I usually have it all tucked away next to my tent. I mean, this thing is huge. I mean, let me just go back and show you guys how big it really is. I mean, it's hard to see, but for example, you see a vacuum right there. This is how tall it is. I mean, this, this, this shelving, that holds the reservoir is taller than I am and I'm I think this is actually probably about six foot so that's how large this this large tent is but because of what's going on in the world today with the E. coli just just diseases and flu season and whatever else they could throw out there in the environment I love these little these little green children of ours just to be nourished by me in a in a nice you know as clean as it could get environment and this is what I got a lot of this stuff is butter lettuce Let me show you guys if you if you're new to the channel this is how it looks when you have a hydroponic setup you have your reservoir you have your tubing that's being pumped air through the air pump right here right inside here the air stone is providing uh, oxygen to the bottom of the plants that will then develop a root system and as you know hopefully you subscribe to the channel give me the thumbs up as well make sure to hit the bell to get notifications every time I upload a video but as I post a video I'm actually a couple days late late with uh, with providing you guys with an update because last Friday I was supposed to show you how I was I guess transporting these into the reservoir into the rock wool um, but I guess I just waited. Oh God, it's such a process. If you guys actually have a setup this large and you have three large reservoirs, you will learn the difficulty of what it actually takes once your grows are complete. Okay, the cleaning process. I try to, I try to envision it as, you know, meditation in a sense. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm cleaning this this equipment that provides me food, but oh my God, it's it's a true nightmare. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be around the bush. It is a nightmare because these aren't small. How big is your sink? Okay, I mean, I, I have something in my laundry room that allows me to you know just kind of get these in 
and I mean cleaning it and then you know you got to lay the towel down and put them down for it to dry overnight and it is it's difficult it's really frustrating to clean and I wish that wasn't the process but these things deliver food beautiful clean food I'm so excited I can't wait and unfortunately it goes so quick you know and I'm gonna be munching on this hard this time because again everything that's currently going on in the world I mean you go to Trader Joe's you don't even see lettuce on the shelf um, I have been eating other types besides you know romaine um, but I love romaine lettuce and um, a lot of this is just butter lettuce because I actually I might have some romaine here they're called like tower lettuce but that's really why I do all this and um, unfortunately I didn't I didn't give you guys any content last week on Friday so that's why I'm updating you now as we enter into the holidays and next week I'll definitely give you another update as we have more progress and maybe we'll even have something down there below alrighty so what can I tell you about this for, for new people let me just give you a quick overview here uh, each of the reservoirs as I was mentioning before tube pump reservoir these are called net cups okay this is called rock wool this is basically the growing medium it's just like when we use dirt outside we use rock wool when we use when we do hydroponics and these little pebbles Okay, and I'd like to mention this in every video because I don't know what kind of people come across these videos or how they come across them on YouTube. But this is um, this is Hydrotone. These are uh, clay pebbles, and basically, their only their only job in this whole scenario is to basically hold this thing tight. Because if you were to drop this rock wool inside this net cup, okay, um, it would just kind of fall everywhere. So you need something that to hold it tight, to hold it in place as the plant progresses and grows up. Let's take a look here. Oh, see? Here we go. This is a prime example of what's going on. Do you guys see this right there? See that little white thing hanging? That is the root that has made its way through the net cup. And that's exactly what you want. And just in the next week, every single one of these cups across the entire spectrum of, of, this, um, of this top tier will have an enormous root system and they're just beautiful white roots from these it's just incredible when you really think about it um, the type of roots that grow from from this lettuce it's it's pretty unbelievable let's take a look let's relieve that guy let's take a look if we have anything down here oh, see that one's like floating a little bit I gotta fix this to me honestly I gotta fix I, I don't know what's going on with this uh, air stone but it looks like this cable might be might be too short. I <laughs> I knew that was happening, but and I uh, I just didn't want to cut a brand new cable, so I used this from a previous cut. Um, but I'll definitely have to fix that because from my experience over the last few years, that air is detrimental to the well-being of these plants, and and in addition, the pH of the water because acidity levels is critical for uh, life to evolve, to, for life to move at a proper pace and just overall acidity. I mean, think about your bodies and acidity. When we are acidic, and I could tell you from my own personal life experiences that when I am acidic and I'm having heartburn or whatever it is, I do not feel well, okay? When your body is acidic, you are tired, you are you are just my mind is just messed up my body's messed up my body's achy it is terrible so we want to make sure that you pH this water properly and if you guys are not familiar with pHing I have previous videos of me pHing the water it's basically you these uh, you get this pH liquid for an up and down you get a pH monitor just you put it in the water and it'll predetermine where the pH is you know, you, you have low acid, you have very acidic, you have a alkaline state. And everything alkaline, I believe, is from like 7.0 pH all the way up to like 14. But for plant-based stuff and also different plants and fruits and whatever grow differently in different pH levels, soils or water. But from my experience, 6.5 to 7.5, even 7 is really good for lettuce and that's where I pH this water here okay my drinking water I love the essential water 
and that's pH that 9.5. It's incredible, actually. Uh, you know, on on my on one of my upcoming videos, I'm gonna buy an array of water, and I know this is a hydroponic uh, YouTube channel, but I want to have like 15 different types of water, maybe even some coconut water, and some other stuff like soda, this and that. And I'm gonna do a pH test across the entire spectrum. I wanna show you guys, because a lot of people don't wanna put the time into it. You, you, you don't wanna go and buy 15 different waters. Foster, that's probably expensive. It could be like $30 and plus and different drinks and having to test to make the video, edit it, upload it, it's a lot of work. For some reason, I enjoy it. And I love just showing the different facts on this stuff. And uh, it's incredible. Like for instance, I recently bought some aloe water and I've been loving it. It's just fantastic. It tastes good and it's not just like the aloe vera, like it's not like aloe vera where it's like like this bittery weird taste, but I've been buying this aloe water and it's incredible. And I tested the pH on it and the pH was like 3.5, like 4, which is terribly acidic. Terribly acidic. Orange juice is, is a higher pH than that, which was shocking to me because aloe is supposed to be soothing for your uh, uh, GI tract. So I was I was drinking a lot of it and I was like, this is fantastic. And then, you know, there came a couple of times where I had bad Harper and I was like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta, let me just check the pH on this thing. And I was, I was pretty shocked. I almost want to write a comment on where I bought it on Amazon and indicate that, you know, I was surprised to see the pH level being so low. I don't know why, but that's, I, I was just very surprised. But Anyway, besides just the pH, this is what I got going on, guys. I'm going to leave you on this now. Uh, I gave a small tutorial and anyone's new and that wants to do a hydroponic grow. Uh, all the links are down below for everything. Everything from tubing to some new reservoirs that I actually just realized that are on online. Soon, in the, in, in the, in the long future, not even the near future, I'm going to come out with some stuff on my own. I'm going to come out with packages to allow people just to do a simple setup that has comes with a reservoir, tubing, pump, uh, net pods, the rock wool, the hydrotone, seeds, light, everything. It, it takes a lot of time, as you know, to do something like that. It's almost like a small business. I mean, it takes a lot of time for me to take time out of my schedule to make this video to show people the progress on these beautiful lettuce plants and, you know, edit it and post it online. It takes takes a few hours to do all that. Um, but I just wanted to give, you know keep you guys informed of what I got. Can't wait till down below here is also going because I really just want a huge abundance of different types of lettuces just for enjoyment. You know what I mean? Dinner comes around or or lunch or whatever. You want to have salad for breakfast? Do it. You come down into your uh, you know family room. Snip, snip, snip. You got a salad. When the when the stalks are nice and you take a little you know lettuce and you have a little boat. You could put all you want in there, you know what I mean? I used to, I, I love putting like a piece of cheese in there, a little bit of turkey, and I mean no bread with a nice crispy piece of lettuce with some, you know, lovely cheese and a, a, a one one slice of meat is like, it's like un unbelievable if you've, if you've tried it. It's basically, it's a, it's a lettuce wrap sandwich in a sense. I love it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you with this. Enjoy your week. Holidays are approaching. Um... And that's it. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll talk to you guys in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching. Make sure to uh, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to grow like this and you want to buy all the stuff right here, all the links are down below. Everything that I found online that you need to grow like me. See ya.